Hello, hello, hello! How are you guys doing today? Well, I feel like I'm completely washed out <laughs> in this window. I'm using the window for my light. But anyway, I just got home from Cousin Fun Day and I am exhausted <laughs> because I had to get up very, very early this morning. Early for me, which was like 9 o'clock, something like that so that I could be ready for my cousin to come pick me up. And then she took me to go get my hair cut. And then we went to Costco. Oh, first we went to the post office. So tomorrow, I can see this. Well, not tomorrow, because I'm not filming tomorrow, but Friday will be a PO, there's even more stuff. But tomorrow will be a PO unboxing. They had to like pull out this thing for me to bring the stuff out to the car and stuff like that. So anyway, I went to the PO uh, box and I got all that stuff. And then, so I have everything that is at the post office, I have it all. Um, and then we went to Costco, which surprisingly wasn't very busy today. I thought it would be packed. And then um, we went to Trader Joe's, which was pretty busy. And I had a list of things I wanted to get. A lot of the things I wanted to get, like they had a stuffing flavored kettle corn, and like popcorn, and they didn't have that there. So I really wanted to get that. But some of the things that I, I saw online, they had, which by the way, I've talked so much about like, Trader Joe's. I thought you could order stuff online, but apparently you can't. Um, but what they, what you can do online is you can add it and it makes a list and you can print your list off. I just screenshot it. So I have the screenshot of my list for my thumb. But anyway, we went to Trader Joe's and then we went and ate brunch afterwards. So at Cafe Patashu, have my California Dreamer and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, let me take my coat off. The most exciting part of the video is me undressing, I know. And let me take my phone out of my pocket and put it over here. So, all right, let's get into what I purchased. Should we, uh, should we do a little, a little thumbnail? My Trader Joe's bags. Okay, so, first and foremost, my cousin Caroline is like, are you seriously going through like a box of these a week? I said a box and a half, two boxes. I am obsessed with these R.W. Garcia Organic Three Seed Sweet Potato Corn Crackers. And I have to tell you, one bag of these, there's two bags that come in there. One bag of these online from like Fresh Time or Mar uh, no Fresh Market or what's that place called? Whole Foods, Whole, pay Whole Paycheck is like $18. At, at Costco, a huge box is $9.99 or $8.99. So... I got two of those. Got two boxes of those. All right. Actually, let me go. The other thing I got, because my husband was like, can you get me some Cokes while you're at Costco? So I got him the 35 count of Coke. Like, you know I said I wasn't going to drink soda no more? Well, that's out the window. So <laughs> I got Diet Cokes and I got Cokes. And now we're set for about a week. Okay. My husband, he is such a water drinker. But interestingly enough, he can drink like three or four cokes for three or four. He can drink like a shake back and I helped. He can drink like three or four cokes in a row. What do we think of my haircut? We went to brunch today and everybody was like, You look so different. Like, what's different about you? I said, I don't have a hat on. Um, and then I also got the dips for my husband. I still have my dips. My dips. My dips. <laughs> okay, so let me show you the stuff that I got at um at Trader Joe's. I'm just going to go through here and show you guys everything I got. So I got this cinnamon sugar toffee trio. Where are my rain glasses? Okay, here's some right here. This was on my list. I saw this is a new product that they have out at Trader Joe's. Cinnamon sugar toffee trio. Cinnamon and sugar covered almond toffee squares with white milk and dark chocolatey coating. So for a little snack. Now I will tell you. Oh, I also got this cornbread stuffing mix, because all the stuffing that we're having at both places, we're going to my uh, my husband's aunt's house first, and then Caroline's house second. Every place is having stuffing, which I love, but with chicken broth. So I'm gonna make that with vegetable broth, and that's how it'll be made. Well, this one is just like with water. So it's like a cornbread stuffing, which is like water, it doesn't have anything in it. So, what was I gonna say, something else. This was also on my list. These are the cinnamon, there's like hair from getting my hair cut. Cinnamon swizzle sticks. I saw these online. I was like, I have to get them. Cinnamon sticks partially rolled in rock sugar. You can see them. And you like put it, it says like, try me in coffee, latte, or cappuccino, white and caramelized rock sugar, add sweetness while the cinnamon stick continues to infuse the warm spice in your beverage once the sugar has melted. <laughs> 
So, I don't know, maybe I'll do that review today, we'll see. I'll put that right there in the window. Okay, here, let me turn the cure rig on so I can do that review right away. And then, so y'all know I'm going with the whole, like, felt theme, right, for Christmas this year. I got the, the felt garden garland. I got, like, a little felt reindeer. I love just, like, anything felt. I think it's very cozy, cozy. So, I saw that they have these online. My cousin Caroline said that they look more like avocados. They had brown and they had green, so I got two green. She says, I don't think those look like pine cones. I think they look like avocados. But I got these. They were, like, three. Do you hear the cure in the background? They were, like, $3.99 each. Aren't they so cute? I love pine cones anyway. And it says right here, it doesn't say avocado, it says felted wool pine cone. So I don't know, I'm gonna incorporate that somehow into the Christmas decorations, but I think those are so cute. So we got those. Okay. Then these beauty, pro beauty products were also on my list. The first one, and I almost didn't get this because I was like, it's not like my favorite. I'm not, a, I don't love things that smell like lotions that smell chocolatey and stuff like that. Of which this totally does. This is the Hot Cocoa Whipped Body Scrub. But somebody sent me the Peppermint Sugar Body Scrub. And I loved it so much from Trader Joe's. That I was like, I'm going to buy this too. I smelled it. It's straight up. Smells like hot chocolate. Oh, by the way. There's like a Woodwick candle at Trader Joe's that people were wanting me to get. It's like, it's more expensive than most of candles. It's like $8.99 and I don't like the smell of it. I'm not saying that other people wouldn't, but it's kind of a very, it's, it says it's like citrus something, but it doesn't smell like that. It smells kind of like a pomegranate or something. I don't love it. So I, I didn't, I didn't get that. But um, here is what it looks like, the body scrub. Is it body lotion or is it body scrub? This is body scrub, whip body scrub. I mean, it literally smells like hot chocolate, but I thought, you know what? That'll be fun for Christmas time and all that kind of stuff. Then I saw this online. I don't think this is new, but there was two different shampoos or conditioners that I wanted to try. One of them was like, I, I might get it the next time because they're both real cheap. They're like $4.99 or $6.99, but <coughs> I think they're $4.99. The other one is like, has like a tingle effect. It has like peppermint and things in it, which I love all that kind of stuff. But this one smells so fantastic that I was like, I want to try this first. And this is the Lemongrass Moisturizing Shampoo with Argan Oil and Vitamin E. And this was like $4.99. I actually have the receipt somewhere here. Hold on a second. Um, I can tell you how much this was. So, let's see. The pine cones were $3.99, which I think is a really good buy. Um, the shampoo and conditioner, these were each $4.99. I think it's good for shampoo and conditioner. I mean, it smells so good. Conditioner probably smells exactly the same. So I'm going to try this. And I mean, do I think it's the most highest quality? No. But I love their bath products. My cousin Caroline uses a lot of like their face washes and stuff like that. I love their products. I think their, their beauty products are pretty good in there. They have the beauty advent calendar. I think I reviewed it last year. It's like $30. And it's like a chapstick and then like a, a little mirror. And I was like, you know what? I don't really want ever anything that's in this. So I'm not going to buy it this year. So... Oh, I got two boxes of this cornbread because I don't know how much I'm going to make. And I love to make uh, stuffing at home. So the next thing I got were, whoo, I'm out of breath. These salty honey toffee milk chocolate covered crackers. I have absolutely no idea what these are going to taste like. So do a review of that. Oh, I was so excited about these. They had um, broccoli and cheddar, and then I got scallopini potatoes, a creamy gratin of potatoes with four cheeses. I just like to have a meal or a snack this weekend. So that was one of the things I got. Okay, so, oh, the last things, these need to go in the freezer ASAP because they've been sitting in the car. So I got gingerbread ice cream. I'm so excited about this. And I got this JoJo. So JoJo's are like their cookies that they have. that are like chocolate with peppermint inside of them. And this is the candy cane JoJo's ice cream. So I'm real excited about that. Obviously, I love a good ice cream. Okay, so I did on my review channel, I reviewed the vegan tikka masala, which apparently I called tiki masala, which apparently for the last 10 years I've been calling tiki masala. I did not realize it was tikka masala, but you learn something new every day. So I loved this so much. And even though it's like pre-processed, microwave, I don't cook. We know that, right? So... Next week, I'm not going to try to, like, you know, get healthy the week of Thanksgiving and stuff like that. So next week, I'm really going to start trying to walk, like, three to four days a week. And I want to not be ordering food every night. I want to try to eat a little bit less and start, like, losing some weight before the new year. So I'm real inspired counting down to spring and summer to be really active and whatever. So because of that, 
really like these meals. All of these are vegetarian. So I got one, two, three, four of the tikka masalas. They're super cheap, you guys. They are like, they're like $3.99 or something like that. So, um, hold on a second. They're $2.99. These are $2.99. Okay. And then I got the Chana Masala, which I've never tried this one before. So if you guys want me to try this on the review channel, let me know. And this looks really, really good. I got two of these. And it says on all their meals, you can see on here that it'll say like vegetarian or vegan. It says like vegetarian right here. And then I also got the vegetable a birani seasoned basmati rice with vegetable dumplings. I think this one looks really good too. And you can say it says on the back here, vegan. So most of their meals, when you look on the back here, it'll say like vegan or vegetarian. And they have lots of vegetarian and vegan options. So there's vegetable birani. If you guys want me to review that one too, if you want me to re uh, review the chana masala, I will. But I think these meals seem pretty healthy, pretty balanced. And even though they're like lean cuisines and they're processed food, I'm fully aware of that. They're high in sodium and things like that. As a jump start to me eating a little bit healthier and not ordering out food every single night, um, I think maybe it would be a good thing. After I've gone through all this ice cream and au gratin potatoes and yeah, so Cokes and all the Diet Coke. I don't drink Coke, I drink Diet Coke. But I mean, it doesn't really make a difference. People say you're, you should just drink, drink regular soda because diet soda is so bad for you. I know, I know how bad diet soda is supposed to be for you. So anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I will not be filming tomorrow. I hope that you guys have a magical holiday and whether you're spending it at home alone and watching a movie marathon or whether you're with family, have the best day ever. I love you guys so much and I'll see you on Friday. Bye.